Top Chinese leader Xi Jinping pays respects to Vietnam's party general secretary Nguyen Phu Trang. Israel strike Houthi targets in Yemen. General Secretary Nguyen Phu Trang in the hearts of the Gi and people. Welcome to today's news. My name is Nguyen Thuong and I will be your guide through today's latest update. On July 20, China's Communist Party General Secretary and President Xi Jinping paid his last respect to General Secretary of the Communist Party of Vietnam, Nguyen Phu Trang, at the headquarters of the Vietnamese Embassy in Beijing. President Xi Jinping was accompanied by many top Chinese officials. Writing in the condolence book, General Secretary of the Communist Party of China Central Committee and President of China Xi Jinping expressed his deep sympathy over the passing of Vietnam's Party General Secretary Nguyen Phu Trang. President Xi Jinping affirmed that General Secretary Nguyen Phu Trang is a steadfast Marxist and a great leader of the party and people of Vietnam, who devoted his whole life to the Vietnamese Revolution. President of China Xi Jinping said that China always remembers the great contributions of General Secretary Nguyen Phu Trang to promoting the traditional friendship of China and Vietnam. Vietnamese ambassador to China Pham Sao Mai thanked the Chinese leader for his good sentiments and affirmed that the party, state and people of Vietnam always consider developing relations with the party, state and people of China a top priority. On the same day, many other senior Chinese leaders sent wreaths to commemorate the Vietnam's party general secretary Nguyen Phu Trang. Israeli fighter jet struck Houthi military target near Jemen's Hodeida port, killing at least three people and wounding 87, a day after a drone launched by the Iranian back group hit Tel Aviv city of Israel. According to Yemen's health ministry, most of the wounded suffered severe burns in airstrikes that targeted oil facilities and a power station. Israel's military spokesperson said the port had been used by the Houthis to receive weapons shipments from Iran. Israel had informed allies before the strike, which the military said was carried out by Israeli F-15 fighters that all returned safely. The Houthis' Supreme Political Council said there would be an effective response to the strikes. Houthi military spokesperson Yahya Sari said the Houthis will not hesitate to strike vital targets of the Israel. The strike on Yemen, which Israeli officials said came after more than 200 Houthi attacks on Israel. The Bangladeshi government has shut offices and declared a national curfew and announced plans to deploy the army to tackle the country's worst unrest in a decade after student protesters stormed a prison and free hundreds of inmates. AFP news agency reported that at least 114 people have died in, in clashes between police and protesters, which poses an unprecedented challenge to the government of Sheikh Hasina, the prime minister, after her 15 years in office. The protests began this month on university campuses as students demanded an end to a quota system that reserves 30% of government jobs for family members of veterans who fought in Bangladesh's War of Independence in 1971. Those protesters have argued that the policy is unfair and discriminatory as young people struggle for jobs during an economic downturn. Coming up next are some updated news. Mr. Nguyen Quang Hu, Deputy Director of the Plant Protection Department under the Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development said that if nothing changed, the two sides could complete the negotiations in July and then Vietnam could export pomelo to South Korea. With a market of 50 million people, the leader of the Plant Protection Department evaluated South Korea as a potential market for Vietnamese pomelo, helping this fruit increase turnover and become an important export agricultural product of Vietnam. Currently, the whole country has 105,400 hectares of pomelo cultivation, with an output of nearly 905,000 tons. 
Vietnamese fresh pomelo has been exported to 12 countries and territories. Recently, Vietnamese pomelo had an official export visa to the US and New Zealand markets. The Ministry of Education and Training announced the official results of the Vietnamese national team competing in the 7 International Mathematical Olympiad 2024 in the UK. According to the announcement, six students of Vietnamese delegation won medals and certificates of merit including six silver medals, two bronze medals and three certificate of merit. The 65th International Mathematics Olympiad was held from July 11 to 22 in the United Kingdom with a total of seven candidates from 609 countries and territories. Candidates undergo two days of official testing with a duration of 4.5 hours per day. According to regulations, the organizing committee awards official prizes to 50% of participating contestants. Mr. Phan Van Duc, Vice Chairman of the People's Committee of Phuc Sun Commune, An Shan District, Gayen said that on July 20, the authorities found the body of one of the two victims who was swept away by the water while wading through Bayou Stream. Currently, the authorities are trying to find the remaining victims. Previously, on the afternoon of July 19, after planting acacia in the forest of Khao Bayou village, 12 women, residing in Phuc Sun Commune, returned home and discovered that the water of Bayou Stream had risen. They decided to divide into small groups to wade across the stream. The first groups waded safely across the stream, but the last two people were swept away by the water. The heart of General Secretary Nguyen Phu Chao, a communist soldier, an excellent leader, intellect, a great and loyal personality stopped beating. With 18 years of age, nearly 57 years of party age, Comrade Nguyen Phu Chao always worried about the revolutionary cause of the party and nation. In memory of General Secretary, the people of the country in general, and Nghệ An in particular, cannot forget the image of the honest and dedicated leaders, who is always enthusiastic about work and responsible toward the party, the people. On October 29, 2017, during a working visit to Nghệ An, General Secretary Nguyen Phu Trong visited the family of deceased grandfather Le Dang Duong, a veteran revolutionary officer in Hung Dung Ward, Vin City. Currently, Mr. Duong has passed away, but his descendants still remember vividly the images and words of the country's leader seven years ago. During his business trip to Gayan province, General Secretary Nguyen Phu Trong visited two policy families, including our family. Uncle Trong is a very simple person, filled with affection and warmth. General Secretary Nguyen Phu Trong has left in the hearts of the people the image of a simple, steadfast, intellectual and exemplary leader. In recent years, the people, officials and party members have been very happy and excited, increasing their confidence in the party and state when witnessing the policies and measures of our party and state led by the General Secretary Nguyen Phu Trong. All his life, Party General Secretary Nguyen Phu Trong has persistently devoted himself to the revolutionary cause of our party and nation. Officials, party members and people in President Ho Chi Minh's homeland believe that the next generation of leaders will inherit and promote the ideological foundation, orientation and achievements of the General Secretary Nguyen Phu Trong. We expect that the next generation of leaders will continue to concretize the ideological foundation of Comrade Nguyen Phu Trong to promote Vietnam in the development of all sectors. With the boundless grief at the passing away of the party chief, every officer, party member and people in the province always remember the General Secretary Nguyen Phu Trong as advice. It's time to say goodbye. Thank you for watching and see you next time.